Australia briefly became an independent state during the Whitlam years, 1972 to 1975, when Whitlam sold out Australia to the United Nations. Australia became a corporate entity with corporate seals, and so you also became a seal to be traded. The bothering three images is how you can find your net worth. The first thing you need to do is go to treasurydirect.gov. When you open up treasurydirect.gov, you will see on the left hand side, on the fourth one down on the left, find the value of your savings bonds calculator. Click on that and then follow the next directions. Okay, when you open up the next page, you will see calculate the value of your paper savings bonds. Down the bottom down there, you will see a little menu where you can enter in your details. Leave the value as the date, which is today's date. Now there's going to be a pull down menu, EE bonds, I bonds, E bonds and saving notes. These are based on the years you were born. So I'm just going to keep mine as E bonds which is the year I was born. Then the next area you go across, choose under denomination, choose 10,000. Again, this is going to be different for everybody. Under the bond serial number, key in your CRN number. Now mine would, it can be your customer reference number, could either be your um, Centrelink number or your tax file number or another government number that you've been issued with or even your birth certificate. So go ahead and enter your details in there. And then the issue date will be the month and the year that you were born. So if you were born on 01-1957, so just key that in 01-1957, and then click Calculate. Okay, so we've just come to the last menu. So depending on the year you were born, you have chose the correct series of bonds. I was born in the 1960s, so my bond is the E-bond era. As you can see, I'm no longer earning interest, so my value will no longer go any higher. The serial number is your CRN number, customer reference number, so you can use your Centrelink number, as I said in the previous one, for this purpose, or your tax file number. No matter what you use, they are linked as you, the person, so the value will always be the same. The value of your siblings, if you're wondering, you would need to use their birth certificate. So this is you. You're a corporate entity of the government and you are being traded on the market. Investors are earning interest from you as you're now a corporate entity and you don't even know about it. So you ask, can I cash in your own bond? I can't answer that. As I was directed to this link from a recent Common Law Earth Assembly meeting and didn't have time to ask, but I will follow up on this later. So now you know that um, you are a corporate entity and you've been traded. And there's a proof right in front of you from the US Tre Treasury Department. Coming up, why is your legal name is written all in capital letters? Thank you for watching Aussie News tonight, and that's it for this edition. See you next time.